Okay, so uh, bodies are full of naive T helper cells just floating around, um, and these become important to our adaptive immune system when they are um, told to differentiate into a variety of different T helper cells, of which there are four types. Um, so there's Th1, Th2, Th17, and T reg cells. The presence of different cytokines triggers differentiation into each type. Um, these cytokines are IL-12, IL-4, these ones, and these ones. Uh, each T helper cell has a different main purpose or function. Um, T1 cells fight intracellular bacteria and viruses. T2 fight extracellular parasites. Um, T17 fights extracellular bacteria and fungi. And T reg keep the rest of them in check. Each type of T helper cell has a few major cytokine products which are used to signal um, the activation of different types of immune cell. T1 cells activate macrophages and CD8 plus T cells. Um, Th2 activate all of those ones. Th17 activate neutrophils. And T reg gets its name from regulating the other T helper cells. So yeah, the TH1 pathway leads to phagocytosis and the release of lytic enzymes, including granzyme. Um, TH2 leads to um, the release of histamine, which can cause allergic reactions, and lytic enzymes, which degrade cell membranes. TH17 neutrophils are mainly involved in phagocytosis. When it comes to inflammatory bowel disease, TH1 Th17 are implicated in Crohn's and Th2 is found to be implicated in ulcerative colitis. Um, and the relative lack of um, T reg compared to the other T helper cells leads to sort of runaway of each type of T helper cell leading to these conditions. <laughs>